Morning. Now I'm happy sharing quite a few things with you. I don't mind, uh, I'm happy to let people uh, into what happens in my life. But there are other people in my life that I have to respect and they may not think that that's a good thing to talk about. But I'm gonna let you into this today. I'm going into hospital for a minor operation uh, next month. So I've got to go in today for a lot, like a pre-op appointment. And as they sometimes do, they want a urine sample. <laughs> and <laughs> she's gonna kill me for saying this. My dear wife said, you're not taking my Tupperware. <laughs> no love, I wasn't thinking about having a wee in your Tupperware. Don't worry about that. So I've come down to the doctors to pick up that, which is lovely. So yeah, there you go. You may not have wanted to know that, but I've told you now, it's done. Move on. So that was Friday morning, and I did the hospital thing, and then had lunch with a mate, and then went back to work, and then my knee started playing up, so I spent all day Saturday feeling sorry for myself. I did go to work, uh, and it's now Sunday. So yeah, took a day off vlogging, but I am vlogging again, in fact, two days, because I didn't vlog Friday either. Although I did that last clip Friday. True story. So um, now I'm here on Sunday and I'm in a radio studio and I'll explain more now. Nicely set up shot that one, wasn't it? <laughs> this is what I'm up to today. Uh, it's a Sunday afternoon. It is half past 12 and I am doing a radio show. Um, if you didn't know, I used to work here full time. Um, but now I just come and fill in as and when they need me. Even very isn't very often. Might be once a month. Uh, might be once every other month. But um, yeah, not a bad gig. Getting to talk into this thing to several hundred thousand people across the southwest and play some cracking tunes like Sonic. It feels so good. So that's my Sunday afternoon taken care of. Um, probably won't blog or vlog anymore because um, I need to concentrate on doing this. I'm a man. Can't multitask. Right, that's the Heart Radio Show done and dusted for a Sunday afternoon, 12 to 4. Uh, the big top 40 are on now. Um, not that you really care, but I just thought I'd let you know that. Um, I'm aiming to make this vlog about being middle-aged. So I expect all the kids to go, run away, run away, which is fine, because there's plenty of you out there, but there's not a lot out there for people of middle age. And as I've already mentioned, I don't mind being middle-aged. I'm quite happy being middle-aged, as a matter of fact. I'm just trying to find somewhere comfortable. Set this down like that. Ouch. There we go. So, that lighting's good, isn't it? <laughs> anyway. So, yeah, this is all going to be uh, about being middle-aged. And with that comes the highs, because I do enjoy this time in my life, uh, and also the lows as well. And the lows are your body. <laughs> Well, it is for me at the moment. Personally, my big low at the moment is this awful lighting. It's slightly better. <laughs> All the tech problems. Um, but my, I've been going on about my knee for a while, saying I've got a bad knee. Haven't really said what's wrong with it. Um, that left knee has always been my weak knee. Uh, so I kind of knew later on in life it would happen. I had a big kind of bulbous growth on it when I was a teenager. And they said it will go away when you become fully grown. And uh, I'm fully grown and it's come back to haunt me. But what has actually happened, the actual description of what's wrong with my knee is, and I'm ashamed to say it, I have gout. It's a lovely, lovely ailment. Uh, people now are thinking I'm sitting there, I'm a lush, I'm eating lots of rich food and drinking port or red wine or stuff like that. Uh, I drink port at Christmas. I can't remember the last time I had a glass of red wine. Um, but yeah, it is down to diet and weight um, according to the doctor not the first time I've had it and this has been a bad bout because it kind of just about left and then it came back I think that's because I went to that gig the other night though uh, so I served myself right stood up on it for too long and now it's come back and um, it's proper painful it really is I can't bend my leg at all um, driving's not fun probably shouldn't be driving um, so yeah and to give you the exact description of what gout is rather than just some Edward the Eighth eating turkey and ripping it off and drinking lots of port and stuff and rich food. Um, it's actually crystals on the joint. It's a form of, got to think about this, uh, it's a form of um, arthritis. So that doesn't bode well for the future. So there we go. Um, and I'm not ashamed to talk about it because I've got it, it's a thing, and I've got to deal with it. But it's the sort of thing you get as you get towards middle age. And my diet hasn't been the best. I did have 
an amazing holiday. And during my amazing holiday, I ate lots of great food and probably drank a little bit too much. So that's why it's come on, my fault. Um, so there you go, confession time. I think I can hear someone in the building. I think I'm in this building on my own. I've just finished my radio show and I'm, I'm here completely on my own because all the lights are out, he says. <laughs> Getting suspicious now. Um, but yeah, so there you go, confession time. There we go. Um, I, I suffer from gout because I'm an old man. Middle-aged man. Middle-aged man. That's what I am, middle-aged. Um, so there you go. Happy to share that with you. Happy to write a blog about it on the Being Middle-Aged website, uh, which I'll put a link in the description below for you to find uh, and ways to deal with it. And all those other lovely little ailments that you get when you become middle-aged. That's what the website's going to be about. Right. Home for a sensible tea and continue to drink litres and litres of water because that's a good thing. So you may now be thinking what's the good stuff about being middle-aged then Matt and just very quickly I think the good stuff of being about middle-aged is the fact that I'm prepared to share that story with you because do you know what it's a thing and there are a lot of people my age going through very similar things um, and you know if I was younger and cared I probably wouldn't tell you about it, but because I'm older and I feel really comfortable about who I am and what I can say, then I'm happy to share it. So there you go. There's a good thing about being middle-aged. When you hit that magic 4-0, you stop caring what other people think about you. That was the best part about turning 40 for me. I had a really good party thrown for me as well, by the way. My wife had a brilliant surprise party and it was great. Loads of people turned up. Um, so yeah, that was good as well. But up here, who cares? <laughs>